Hello, and welcome, to a new Tesla Life Europe video. With an autopilot update, Tesla has now introduced the vision-only software, in Europe. It works with camera input only. Radar is no longer needed. Let's see how it works, during my trip from The Hague in the Netherlands, to Paris. In busy start-stop traffic, Autopilot is a fantastic tool. It nicely smooths out the start-stop movements and allows merging traffic to enter the lane. All without any human intervention. Autopilot has always been able to do automatic lane changes. However, these lane changes have to comply with strict EU regulations, such as a 2 seconds wait time after starting the blinker, until starting the move to the other lane. And these strict regulations, conflict with the reality of everyday driving. The truck driver wants to change lanes, so I need to move over. But the automatic lane change procedure has to wait 2 seconds. That is far too long. Autopilot's cameras, could have easily checked, that there is no traffic in the left lane, behind me, and could have initiated the lane change immediately. A little later, we are in Belgium. And it starts raining. Just another driving challenge that's handled almost perfectly by autopilot. But sometimes the vision gets so bad, you have to intervene. Reflections of the barrier, are likely misinterpreted as lane lines. With future software innovations, such as occupancy networks, this will definitely be solved. Still, in these circumstances, the assistance of autopilot, makes driving much safer and more relaxed. We are driving on Antwerp's ring. Autopilot does not read the matrix signs, here in Belgium. In the Netherlands it does, and a tap on the autopilot stock is enough to reduce the speed accordingly. It's 6.30 in the afternoon, and the sun is low above the horizon. For Tesla's cameras, this is no problem. Autopilot effectively uses the views from all eight cameras, to keep the car dead-centered in the lane. It clears up and autopilot takes us comfortably to France. More than 95% of the 485 km trip, is handled entirely by autopilot. I just keep an eye on the system's actions, and confirm that I want to change lanes, when autopilot suggests to do so. As we enter France, the evening falls. Traffic gets more relaxed, and the only thing we have to do, is to manually navigate the toll port on the A1, south of Lille. By the way, if you want to avoid long waiting times, at the toll gates, you should buy a Bip and Go toll badge. In addition to the toll, you only pay a small subscription, and you only pay it in the months that you actually use the badge.